guys, Andrea Mills here. Um, today I'm going to answer a few questions that some of you guys had about the progesterone cream that I'm using. And so I just thought I'd talk a little bit about it and answer those couple of questions. And I'd like to preface this by saying that I am by no means an expert on progesterone. I don't know a ton about it, but I will tell you what I do know. And then I'm going to tell you where to keep looking for more information on it. Um, the reason I started using progesterone cream was because I had suspected from um, some, like, my last couple of pregnancies, I lost weight while I was pregnant and gained it back afterward. And that, I was trying to think, why would that happen? Because I wasn't doing anything different, if, you know, if anything. I was definitely eating far more while I was pregnant. And I suspected maybe... Um, Maybe it had to do with the progesterone that I was getting from the placenta. Also, my blood pressure stays much lower while I'm pregnant than when I'm not. So those two things kind of had in my mind that maybe that was an issue for me. Then, after Claudia was born, we had three miscarriages that were very early in the pregnancy, which is another sign of low progesterone. So then I actually was visiting one evening with my cousin who said that she'd been taking progesterone cream and she really highly recommended that I give it a try. So I went ahead and ordered some, the same one that she was using, and then started using that. And then after that's when I kind of started researching a little bit more and learning more about it. But um, someone wanted to know what my levels were before I started taking it and I have no idea because I didn't actually, I never went to a doctor, I didn't have any blood work or anything like that done. This was just based on what my symptoms were. Someone wants to know how long I used it before I got pregnant and I had just started using it two weeks before um, we conceived again and then, um, then I got pregnant and this time of course the pregnancy continued. I'm in my I'm not sure, 22nd or 23rd week now. And my other losses happened in the five to six week um, area. Someone wants to know if progesterone can actually help you get pregnant, not just sustain a pregnancy. And as I understand it, um, there's two different hormones that could be an issue. Well, there's probably more than that, but if you're ovulating, if you're not ovulating, there's a different hormone that is the issue that needs to be dealt with. So progesterone isn't necessarily gonna help. Maybe it will, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there is more knowledgeable than I am on this and could fill in the blanks in the comments. But um, if you're not ovulating, there's a different hormone that I can't remember the name of, it starts with an L, I believe, that, um, you're low in and it's not triggering ovulation. If you are ovulating, it's possible that you're getting pregnant and just not knowing it and losing the baby very early. Um, for me, I <clears throat> I would get pregnancy tests well before the time that, you know, I was like a week before my period was due, I would have a positive test, but then over the next week or two, um, eventually the line on the pregnancy test would start to fade when I would take a test and then it would be gone and then um, my period would start and that was the end of the pregnancy. So if that's something that's happening to you, whether you realize it or not, then uh, you know progesterone is going to make a difference because if you're actually ovulating and conceiving, even if you're losing it before you even realize that you're pregnant, progesterone is going to help your situation. I did try those ovulation tests to see if I was ovulating because I got a pack of pregnancy tests that came with them and I never saw a positive test for ovulation. And I have a friend who was in her mid forties who was also trying to get pregnant and she never did see a positive ovulation test. But I think that um, the there's only like a few hours as I understand it that you actually have that hormone that, that triggers the ovulation. So if you don't test like right during that time, you might not ever get a positive test. So it's not like taking a pregnancy test where you can take it any time and it's going to show up. I think it's a lot harder to get it at the right time. So even if you don't ever get a positive ovulation test, I wouldn't necessarily say that you're not ovulating. So if that's the case, I would still go ahead and try the progesterone and see what happens. So um, natural progesterone is made from wild yam and a lot of people take wild yam um, to help with low progesterone. The difference between just taking the wild yam and the natural progesterone is that it's already converted into progesterone in the um, 
progesterone cream and your body doesn't have to do the conversion on its own. Something else that I learned is that apparently the, the hormone cortisol and progesterone both come from the same precursor hormone. So if you're going through a lot of stress or um, you know something like that, then you're going to possibly start getting low in progesterone just because your body needs to use all of that precursor hormone to make cortisol and it won't have enough left over to make progesterone. So that can set up that cycle of not having enough progesterone. And it, progesterone is also a men's hormone. So it's not just women who could benefit from taking supplemental progesterone. And from what I've read, there's a difference between the synthetic progesterone that you get, like prescri prescribed to you. Um, it, the natural, they call it bioidentical, apparently doesn't have any side effects. I've read some studies about it that um, there's not any of the negative side effects that are associated with the synthetic progesterone. I would recommend, I really found a lot of helpful information on um, www.progesteronetherapy.com and so if you have any other questions I hope that you'll go there and read what she has to say on there because it's very she's got very thorough information there and it was very helpful and I, I think she sells her own cream the lady who runs that website and someone wanted to know if I tried it and I haven't because I right away I ordered the kind that my cousin recommended and hers was this brand the um, life flow brand from um, Amazon and I liked it just fine the only reason I switched to this other one was because it had more progesterone per pump so now I'm using this internal harmony it comes in this pretty pink box like that and it's like $25 for uh, a bottle of this and I'm using in the beginning I worked up to having six pumps a day. So I did three in the morning and three at night, which was 150 milligrams of natural progesterone. This also has vitamin D and some other herbs in it. It's got vitamin B6, black cohosh, maca, passion flower, vitamin E, uh, B12. So there's more stuff in there, but you can get something that's like this life flow kind that is just the progesterone. And there's a couple of different kinds. So I also would recommend looking on Amazon and reading reviews from what other people say about using it because you get a lot of helpful inf information about like what benefits other people have, have experienced and someone wanted to know if I thought it would help with hair loss that was associated with um, going through menopause and I would say probably yes because I do know that that's um, can be obviously from your hormones it can also be from low estrogen and this same company makes the estrogen that are also made from wild yam so you know there's a whole world of <laughs> creams out there to look into and from my own self you know after you have a baby your hair starts falling out and I always notice it right here I'm sure it's all over my head but it's this is where I notice it and it has stayed thin for quite a while there but I do actually feel like it's filling back in I notice mostly on videos when I like turn my head and I'm like oh I think it's starting to fill in there so I do think it would probably help with hair loss it's certainly not gonna hurt to give it a try and see what happens using the cream like this it's just like a lotion and one pump is one dose of it and I like to keep my bottle stored upside down because then I make sure that it like dispenses the whole amount because sometimes if it's like this it'll like suck air and you don't get a full squirt so I like to keep it upside down on my dresser so that I can um, make sure that I get a whole pump every time and with synthetic progesterone people recommend that you move it around on your body like rub it in in different areas and some people say to put it where there's a lot of fat some people say don't put it where there's a lot of fat but um, from what I gathered from progesteronetherapy.com. It doesn't really matter when you're using the natural progesterone. It doesn't accumulate in tissue like the other one does. So I usually put it on my stomach or my backside or my legs or my arms, whatever is convenient when I remember to put it on. And you just rub it in like lotion and it goes on nice and easy and um, very easy to use. Um, somebody wanted to know if there's any other things that you could use to help with regulating periods or um, helping with low progesterone. So I'm going to recommend the herb Vitex. It's also called chaseberry 
that can be taken like as a tea or capsules and I'm sure you can get them on Amazon or you can make your own um, so that's a good one and then Dr. Christopher has a couple of different hormone um, herb combinations that I'll, I'll just put links so that you can find them and that's what my sister was taking was some of Dr. Christopher's things which you know a lot of the girls in our family have trouble with like PCOS and things like that and my sister's never been diagnosed with it this sister other my one of my other sisters has but she's always had trouble all of her kids are five years apart without her trying for them to be five years apart she just doesn't get pregnant and um, last year for our mom school we were doing a whole course on Dr. Christopher's herbs so she started taking some of his um, herb capsules for hormones and next thing you know she got pregnant and you all have seen little baby Cooper who was just born um, a few weeks ago and obviously it got her straightened out without even using a progesterone cream or anything like that so there are other options besides just the cream if you're interested in trying either additional things or something different than trying out the cream so I hope that answers the questions that you guys had if you have any more you can put them down here in the comments and I will try to do my best but really the best place to go to find information would be the um, progesteronetherapy.com because she knows way more than I do about this whole topic. So um, I'm so happy for all of you guys that have been telling me that you're pregnant now after trying the progesterone cream and you know more of you who are in the process and I just pray that all of you are successful in making little babies and growing your families and I just thank you for coming over today and spending a few minutes with me. This has nothing to do with Christmas but that's okay. It's an important topic. I guess I will just see you guys again very soon.